Peace and blessings. Hope you are all good and well. 40 years. It's been 40 years since the new crossfire. January the 18th, 1981 shook the story for Black Britain. And unfortunately, we have to keep the story alive, otherwise the global mass won't. When I say the global mass, I mean the powers that be and the so-called majority. Now, it's a trauma experience for those that were there, but for those that weren't there, it's also traumatic hearing about young people who lost their life to a fire that took place at a house party celebrating the life of a young person. That fire caused devastation for 13 families. And till this day, there's no justice. And 40 years sounds like a long time, but when you're dealing with pain and trauma, those are just four blinks. One, two, three, four. And the essence is still there. It's in the air. The aroma of injustice and racism still plagues our air. And we have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a sad part of history, but the only side we can take from that event is the coming together of people the coming together of people was a beautiful thing to see for those that were there and for those that weren't there just look at the images of people coming together and see how we stood together so we can bring about awareness and so we can bring the conversation to the government who failed families one great uh, book which highlights this experience is this one here by John LaRose, The New Cross Massacre Story. Um, this would be a great insight for those who do not know or not familiar with the story um, of that time. Get yourself this book. Shout out to New Beacons Books for being pillars in the community for about 55 years now. Um, your work is just incredible. What I would like to do is just to read you the prologue um, by Linton Kwesi Johnson, who is the father of Dog Poetry, um, and just sort of give you like an insight to the mindset, you know, of that time. So I'll read this piece which says We have not forgotten And you can see there's a picture there um, Of like a You know a banner With the names of the young people um, Who died Okay The most significant date In history of black experience In Britain During the second half of the 20th century Is the year 1981 it began inauspiciously in the early hours of the 18th of January with a racist arson attack on a 16th birthday party in South East London, which resulted in the deaths of 13 young black people and 26 revelers suffering serious injuries. The response of the police, aided and abetted by sections of the media with the implicit approval of the government, was used to their power to deny justice to the survivors of the fire the bereaved and the dead. The shock, sorrow and outrage felt by black people throughout the country found expression in concrete political action. On 2nd of March, some six weeks after the fire, the New Cost Massacre Action Committee, chaired by John LaRose, mobilised 20,000 people for a march through the streets of London. That Black People's Day of Action was unprecedented demonstration of black political power. It was a wake up call for the authorities, a watershed moment that signaled a paradigm shift in race relations in the UK. Moreover, the day of action came a leap 
in black British consciousness of the power to bring about change. Then in April came the uprisings which began with the Brixton riots and spread to the inner cities throughout the country. After three decades of racial oppression and marginalization, second and third generation young blacks made it abundantly clear that things would have to change. We were no longer prepared to remain in the periphery of British society and were willing to fight fire with fire. It's very important. You gotta meet them where they're at. In 1981, Britain was undergoing deep construction and reconstruction changes in the wake of economic crises in the 1970s. It was a turbulent time of class and conflict. Racism was rampant and racial prejudice permeated every institution of the state. The new conservative government of the day led by Margaret Thatcher had launched an assault on the gains won by British working class after the Second World War. It was a time of racial tension exacerbated by the right-wing politicians like Thatcher whose anti-immigrant rhetoric fanned the flames of hatred and emboldened racism and racist and fascist organisations. Where have we heard that before? By then, there was a mass movement of politicised young blacks and several autonomous organisations engaged in the struggle for racial equality and inequality and social justice. Racist attacks of terror against black and Asians did not begin with the Nucos arson attack, but coincided with the Caribbean migration to the UK in the 1950s. There were the Notting Hill and Nottingham riots of 1958 and 1959, where blacks fought back and the murder also in Notting Hill out of the Antiguan worker Kelso Cochrane. After the Conservative Member of Parliament, Enoch Powell, made his famous inflammatory Rivers of Blood speech in 1968, demanding the repatriation of black Commonwealth immigrants, there was a marked increase in racist attacks and the rise of fascist organisations such as the National Front, the British Movement and the Column 88. In 1971, a decade before the New Cross file, there was a similar arson attack on a West Indian party in Forest Hill in South East London, where luckily no one died. The New Cross area in particular, the London Borough of Lewisham, was notorious as a hotbed of National Front activism and racist arson attacks. In 1977, the Moonshoot, a black youth and community centre, was firebombed. That year, Lewisham also witnessed street battles between National Front supporters on one hand and anti-racists from the anti-Nazi league supported by black youths on the other hand. In 1978, the Albany Theatre in Deptford was firebombed in a suspected racist attack, as was the Lewisham Way Centre in 1980. The new crossfire was, therefore, not an isolated act of barbarism, but the latest and most devastating in the history of racist terror. There were no inquests into the new crossfire, both of which returned open verdicts. If the first, held with indecent haste just three months after the fire, was a travesty of justice where crucial evidence was suppressed by the coroner, then the second inquest, held in 2004, was a farce, as no evidence was produced. However, both occasions the police failed to convince the jury that the fire was the result of black on black violence that was predicted wasn't it the open verdicts have not allowed closure for the bereaved and the survivors of the fire but the black people's day of action and the uprisings that followed in 1981 and again in 1985 were of harbinger's change these dramatic demonstrations of black self-empowerment left the Conservative Party and the Conservative government of the day with no alternative but implement policies that would accelerate the emergence of black middle class and a move towards inclusion. You see how powerful it is when you step to the system and you say, look, we have an above it, yeah? Right? It's literally liberty or death. Um, and that's just, you know, kind of showing you how to stick it to the man. So, um... Again, this book kind of notes everything that we need to understand about what it takes to kind of get people to listen, especially when it comes to dealing with 
the the conservative government who run things now um it's about meeting them where they're at you know we are going through face racism britain's fabric is stitched with racism that's how britain became great britain in its essence so i'm not saying be violent but i'm just trying to say sometimes you got to find ways to be heard by any means necessary you know and if you want to further some more reading check out um a race today anthology here to stay here to fight fantastic it's littered littered um with writings you know we're talking about race sex and social class you know you've got writers like clr james walter rodney tony morrison oh, the list goes on pick this up have a read you know and find out what we can do in this generation right now to fight the system fight the power because we've got to learn from those who did it before and see how we can do better i will leave you with the words from the great linton quasi johnson the great insurrection peace it was in April 1981, down in the ghetto of Brixton, that the Babylon them caused such a friction that it bring about a great insurrection. And it spread all over the nation. It was truly an historical occasion. It was event of the year, and I wish I had been there when we run riot all over Brixton, when we mash up plenty police van, when we mash up the wicked one plan. When we mash up the swamp 81, for what? To make the rule of them understand that we not nah take no more of them oppression. And when we check out the ghetto grapevine, to find out all I could have find. Every rebel just a revel in them story. Them a talk about the power and the glory. Them a talk about the burning and the looting. Them a talk about the smashing and the grabbing. Them a tell me about the vanquish and the victory. Them said the Babylon them went too far. So what? We had was fibon to care. And one and two innocent get mar. But what? Now so it goes sometime in a war, Easter. So it goes sometime in a war. Them say we bond down the judge, we could have bond the landlord. We bond down the judge, we never bond the landlord. When we run riot all over Brixton, when we mash up plenty police van, when we mash up the wicked one plan, when we mash up the swamp 81. Them say we come and their car and we gather ammunition. We build with barricade and the wicked catch afraid. We send out with scout figure, find them where about. Then we farm up with posse and we make we raid. Well, now them run gang go plan counter action. But the plastic bullet and the water cannon will bring a blam blam. Will bring a blam blam. Never mind scar man. Will bring a blam blam. blam. Now tell me something, Mr. Government man, tell me something. How long you really feel you would have keep way under heel when the truth don't reveal? But how you grab and steal, but how you make your crooked deal, make your crooked deal. Eh? Eh? Well down in South Hall, where peach did get far. The Asians them farm up a human war against the fascists and them police shield. And them show that the Asians got plenty Z, got plenty Z, got plenty Z. It is no mystery, we're making history. It is no mystery, we're winning victory. It is no mystery, we're making history. It is no mystery, we're winning victory. But tell me something. Mr. Police Sportsman, tell me something. How long you really think we would have take your button lick? Your jackboard kick, your dirty bag of trick, and your racist politics. Your racist politics. Eh, 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 eh. Well, down in Bristol, they had no pistol. But them chase the Babylon away. And you should have seen your Babylon, how them really run away. You should have seen your Babylon, them pick up that deal. Pick up that deal. Pick up that deal. It is no mystery. We're making history. It is no mystery. We're winning victory. It is no mystery. We're making history. It is no mystery. We're winning victory. Now tell me something. Mr. Right Wing Man, tell me something How long you really feel we would I grovel and squeal When so much murder concealed, when we won't care When we feel